Hello! I've got something to show you! And I'm really excited! <laughs> Look! Okay, I have sort of started unwrapping this, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to wait and wait until I can film it and have a look. So, okay, right, it's that way right. La, 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 la. I have ordered a book from Citrus Book Bindery. This one is an A5 wide, 120 GSM extra smooth paperweight, and it's the standard dot five millimeter. I also added, I think the page marker trio comes with it, but I added the silver tone corner protectors. So, and look, it's all like beautiful and lovely. Come and say hello, meeting new customers. They've got a Facebook group. Um, I shall link the Facebook group in the description below. Oh, and it's no Wi-Fi required, which is handy. Um, ee, look, it's all pretty and packaged nice. Okay, so let's, let's open it up. Okay. Ooh, ooh, let's zoom in a bit. <laughs> Crazy cello, I, I love my notebooks. Okay, so this one you can see it's got the the, the um the corner bit thingies and the, it's got a beautiful pattern. It comes with um the elastic closure. Look, look at the binding on it. Oh, isn't it pretty? <laughs> I really like the pattern on it. It's got like a a, a sheen to it and it's really sturdy this front cover so I'm going to review this and tell you what I think okay the first thing I notice is it's a really nice quality it's really well made and the pages they do feel nice and thick I will do some pen tests in the back of this book to see but ooh, look so it's got the three different bookmarks and they're in the pretty colours. I wish my camera picked up the colours on this better because it doesn't do it justice. They're really sort of bright and shiny and beautiful. So we've got a purple one, a pink one and an orange one. When it's bound, um, when the two sort of chunky bits are bound together, you do get this, this little gap in between. So you can see where the different pages are sort of bound together. Like so. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't really mind it, it's just that I'm thinking of if I wanted to do a spread that covered two pages, would that gap down the middle bother me? It's not on every page, obviously, because they're binded together. But if I was doing a spread that I wanted to cover two pages, would that annoy me or get in the way? I don't think so. I think it's worth how beautiful this binding is. I think it's worth it. The only thing I worry about is, is it going to be sturdy enough to travel? Now, I don't tend to take my bullet journal out a lot, unless I know I've got a lot of things in there that I'm going to need when I'm on the go, things to remember like shopping lists or, you know, errands to run, that sort of thing. Um, so it doesn't come out of the house very often, to be honest. Okay, so let's let's do some pen tests in the back. Oh, look, it's got a lucky little thing on the back there. Let's use this for the pen test page. So I've got my trusty Arteza. I've got a Studler pigment liner. Is this one going to work? Because some of my Studlers have sort of nibs gone in. That's not too bad. Um, I've also got my uh, Unipin pen. Let's go for a Tombow. This one's pretty dark. We'll go for a dark Tombow and see how, how the paper holds up. Actually, I've got a black one here, so we'll go with a black one. So we're gonna go first with my favorite, the, let's have a look, so. Fine liner. Studler pigment liner. And then we'll go on to the uni pin. This is a 0 0.05, which is quite small. This is a 0 0.1, so we'll go for the 0 0.1, it's a bit bigger. 
So we've got the Unipin fine line and the big boy. Let's try this one. Okay, let's go. This is the one that I'm thinking might cause some trouble. So I got the Tombow. Let's have a look then. Do we have any bleed through? No, no bleed through. There's a little bit of ghosting, but it's not too obvious. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see. I can see it. There you Can you see that? Ever so slightly, ever so slightly. That doesn't bother me actually. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I can't stand ghosting, but that's minimal, so I don't mind that. Also, if you notice, I've got um, a couple nails painted. This one cracked like sort of down here quite badly. It went all the way across, so I had to have it covered. And then I got sick of looking at it, so I painted over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see it in my last video. I've got this big crack across it. Anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some watercolour pencils and then some add some, then some add some, then I'm going to add some water to the page and see how it holds up. Now I haven't got any, um, what's it called? Come on. Um, paintbrushes, because I took them all home because I thought I'd experiment with watercolour. I'm rubbish. <laughs> I can't use it. But, um, come on, open. We can, we can compromise, so I'm going to, um, this is a WH Smith brand, it's not, it's not anything special, it's not particularly expensive, it's not the cheapest kind of um, watercolour pencils, I like to use watercolour pencils because they are um, quite pigmented and they blend nicely, so let's, this isn't very professional, let's use our finger. Okay, I can't feel any, you know when the, um, the paper, sometimes it can sort of pebble, what's the word for it when it, it smushes up, it brings up the, come on. <laughs> I know what I mean, it's when the paper starts beading and some of the fibres sort of come up and start scridging. <laughs> That's a technical term. Um, there's a slight sort of, you know when the paper warps a little, I can feel it's gone slightly bumpy here. I think you can sort of see that a little bit. But it's not watercolour paper. They do make one with watercolour paper. You can decide what kind of pages you want in it. You can go for uh, plain. There's... Ooh. I'm going to look it up actually because I want to give you the right information. So this is Citrus Book Bindery. This is the... I know it's going to go all grainy on the screen but this is their Facebook page if I go on to shop now okay so you can see they've got all sorts of really beautiful I've got vintage rose ooh, and it's from 21 um, 21 pounds I have no idea what this would convert to in um, US dollars I'll have to double check that they ship to the US I'm pretty sure they do um, they've also got several different stitching styles like this one um, there's a diamond stitch so it's different shaped I don't know if you can see that the stitching sort of crisscrossed but let's have a look and see so you can have different sizes you can have a7 micro b7 passport a6 b6 a5 which is what I've got a b5 composition and an a4 I don't know what a b5 composition is if anybody knows and you could let me know that would be good <laughs> Um, paper count, so you've got the original, the wide and the chunky. The standard, blah, 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 it's got all sorts of different information here on, you can have the slim page count, the original page count or the wide page count. Um, I think I went for wide, didn't I? Yes, I went for the wide page count or you can have chunky page count. And how many pages you get depends on what kind of paper you choose. So you can choose the standard 100 GSM paper, the 120 GSM Extra Smooth, which is what I've got, the 140 GSM Standard, and you can get the 225 GSM Watercolour. If you choose the watercolour paper, obviously it's a lot thicker, so you get fewer pages. You can also choose to have, there's the Trio Markers, um, which is the, the bookmarks. You can get a back cover pocket, 
Um, you can have page numbers added to it if you wanted. You can get rounded page corners, which I was tempted to do, but my budget didn't quite cover it. <laughs> and then the new silver tone corner protectors, which are installed, which are these little ones. I really like this because I've made a few books and I just think these these corner bits make such a huge difference to the quality and they, the wear on them is better. So if you were going to get something like this, I would recommend getting these. Um, I can't get over this binding. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So what do I think of it overall? I like it. I like it a lot. I love the look of it. They've got several different covers. Um, really, really beautiful ones. It was for me. It was between this one and a sort of pinky one. It was beautiful, but um, the elastic is really, really good. It's like that's going to hold <laughs> for a while. You know, sometimes elastic sort of stretches over time. I'm not so worried about this. Um, it's it's got a lot of spring in it. I like the way the paper holds up. Like I say, there is a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of ghosting. There's no bleed through. And there's um, the watercolour or the water on the paper. It does it does hold up. It's not too bad. The weight of this book also, it's quite hefty, but it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, which is nice because if you do want to carry it around with you, you know, you don't want to be having to carry a really heavy book. And this is, you know, it's, it's quite a thick one. You know, it's quite big, so that's good. The... Only I love everything about it. I love the I love the color choices. I love the design. I think it's a really good quality. I love this binding. I really really like it. It's really. I'm going to show you again. You can see they've used the different colors in it. It's beautiful. It's really really beautiful. Like I say, the only concern I would have is how it would hold up over time if it was bashed about a lot. I was thinking once I got it, I would use it as my next bullet journal. Let's compare the the dot numbers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see how many dots it has um, per page. So this one, this is my Le Mom, um A5 measurements, and it is 39 down and 26 across. This one is... Okay, so this one's actually 27 across, so you've got an extra dot <laughs> than I have in my Le Mans. And then how many down is it? And this one is 40 down. 27 across uh, by 40 down. There are obviously a, oh, tons of uses for this. I could use it for anything. Um, so... I do have a book that I use for my morning pages, uh, so I wouldn't need one for that. But I was thinking, in the back of this book, I've got my different collections and things. I have a video on my collections, um, if you're interested in learning about that. Like I've got my Conmary checklist, my YouTube tracker, entertainment spreads. I've got all sorts of different bits in this back of this book. But this one's not going to last me that long. Um, it's certainly not going to last me through the year. I might get into, I think I'll get through April, but that's about as far as I think I'll get in this one. Um, and then once I'm onto another journal, all my um, collections are going to be in this one, so I'll have to keep flipping back. So I'm thinking about keeping all my collections in another journal, which is what I might use this for. The other good thing about it is because of the way it's bound, it does lie really, really, really flat. Really flat. Um, which I like very much. So, I'm, you know what, I might try this as my next bullet journal. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, which means I'll have to wait for a bit, but look, you get like the pops of colour through, throughout. So yeah, I will think about it, I will think about using this as my actual bullet journal, but all in all, especially, especially with having the, um, the three bookmarks, because I can use one for my monthly um, and my weeklies, and then this one to go for anywhere else, anything that I sort of check often. So, yes, I would, I would definitely recommend this company. The people I sort of spoke to them, and um, it's a, a man and a lady, <laughs> a man and a lady, uh, a husband and wife, 
I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. It's a husband and wife uh, company. And I really sort of like what they stand for. She's very creative and she's got a bit of an obsession with um, just notebooks and stationery, a bit like I have. Um, I've actually got a big chunk of A4 paper in my office that sits on a tray that's purely for decoration purposes. <laughs> I don't actually use it. I just really love the way a big chunk of paper looks. It's all fresh and clean and lovely. And this has that sort of feel of it being... Oh, I don't know, just lovely quality and I want to eat it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I definitely would recommend this book. I think it would be pretty good for a bullet journal. Obviously, I can't give 100% recommendation for it yet because I haven't used it over time, so I don't know how it's going to hold up. But my overall impression is this is a really, really good book. It's... Um, really well made it's very beautiful the pages are perfect i like having the extra dots so yeah i um i do recommend it so because i recommend it i will leave a link in the description for it and um yeah you can if you fancy getting one you can check it out for yourself and you can love it just like i do <gasps> okay i've finished <laughs> and i'll see you next time bye